Uh, and that looks like another hovercraft, and that must be G1 because it's got the heat stamp on the top. Is he a, he's an Autobot, I'm assuming. Yeah, and look, we're already at nine minutes. This is definitely going to be a two-parter. I, <laughs> I laugh because I've now got three of these, and yet the two I've got um, are variants of each other, which is interesting. They're the same same um, bleh, bleh, colour scheme. But they, one of them's got sort of beaten up head and beaten up legs as if he's uh, battle damaged. But still, very, very nice vehicle. Really nice, tight um, alt mode for this guy. All the pieces clicking really cool. So, you know, it's very strong. So, nice. Needless to say, I don't know what he's called. And another Autobot. He's called Japanese Drifter Car. Nice. 2000 Takara. Autobot, yum. And we've got another one. You see, yeah, I'm going to need a new house. I really am. That one there, nice pickup truck. There's something massive at the bottom of this box. And, well, I would have said Bumblebee, but it's not. It's his colour scheme, but not his vehicle. It's not a... Camaro and it's not a VW Beetle. Uh, another one. Oh, we've got Proud. Oh, now that's interesting. I've got two of these and one of them's exactly the same as this. It's got no feet. And all three of them now are missing the little guy that goes in there. Do like them though. I think as a vehicle, it looks excellent. Um, I don't know whether I've really looked at it in bot mode that, in that much detail. But um, great colours, really snappy, obviously a movie bot, uh, barricade. Uh, we've got cool, we've got a Megatron movie key ring, he's cool, I think he's a movie figure. Yeah, he must be, I think he's uh, uh, Dark of the Moon, looking at that. That's nice, that can go with my other one. There is something absolutely enormous in the bottom of this. Ah, oh, now is that? Is he Ratchet? Not sure. He is an Autobot. I was about to say he could be a bit of a knockoff, but um, he's not. And we have uh, hmm, interesting because it's got sort of the Decepticon Beast Con logo on the back. Uh, terrible head hide, <laughs> unless something's missing, of course. Uh, nice though, fire truck, like the, my um, industrial trucks. And um, we've got this guy, he's cool, sort of a little static fig. Hmm, very interesting. Um, I can see I'm going to get noodles absolutely everywhere getting this guy at the bottom. Oh, and we've still got more. We have him. We have him. Okay, we're going to speed it up, get to the main attraction. Uh, could be bulkhead. We've got him. Cool. Rodot. Hmm. We've got him. Bumblebee. And it keeps going. It keeps going. I've got bags of stuff. No idea what they are. G3. Oh, um, you see, I'm not even... Couldn't care if they're on the camera at the minute. <laughs> no. Oh, actually, I might know what that is. They could be. Well, um, this is a bit of a gift. They could be for my uh, Battle of the Planet figures. Noodles, noodles. There's more stuff. Oh, look, here we go. Oh, cool. That's definitely. Battle on the planets, very nice, lovely. It's weird, isn't it? Futuristic and retro at the same time. Very cool. Thank you for that. That's un unexpected. Well, it's all unexpected. 
I've got anything else? I'm just spinning around the edge before I pull out the big thing, bad boy. We've got another one of those, Megatron. Ah, oh, and that's in a his sort of original look, bot mode. Brilliant. I love that head. They're great. I'm going to look into that. I'm feeling the edge, feeling the edge. Now this guy. Ah, oh, we're just going to get this one out. Are you ready? Look at that. Holy baloney. He is massive. He's sort of got a bit of an Astro Train foot going on. I don't even know you can see him on the camera. Look at that. He's got to be at least a foot and a half tall. Turn the camera back. Awesome. Combiner bot. Also bot. Awesome. God, he's got some weight to him. And noodles coming out of every orifice. Let's put that out of the way. Let's put that down there. If we can get him to stand up. There's a bit of a Charlie Chaplin pose at the minute. Get him like that. Ah. Wallop. Blimey. <laughs> I'm going to need so much more cupboard space. And it just keeps going. Bot. After bot. Oh, that's a cool one. Lovely. After bot. After bot. Keep digging, keep digging. More, there we go, there's more and more. And that could be, I don't know. All you can hear is me digging around in the noodles. I think that's everything. So we've got the last two things. This guy, another Megatron. Interesting. And, totally random, <laughs> contour chip of a droid. So there we go. Okay, double, double checking now. I think that, as they say, is that. That's, it's just a box full of noodles. And that is a trade pile from Black Rabbit amazing thanks a lot rabbit i'm uh poof, i'm gonna have to find a serious amount of lego for you my friend all right but um i'm totally totally blown away by all that and it is going to take me an age to play with all those and figure out who they are and set them all up and all of that thing so if you haven't looked at his channel before black rabbit 3333 who is the master of anything collectible toys, um, anything that's cool, he seems to like. Mainly Lego. <laughs> Let's be honest. If you had a bag of Lego, Rabbit would be interested in it. But um, he also has loads of Transformers that he's very, very kindly sent me a few of his collections. So that is brilliant. So uh, cheers again, Rabbit. And thanks for everybody that has watched this because it's definitely going to be a two part video this one uh rate comment subscribe get involved let me know if there's anything in the backdrop that you want me to show you or to review as i give you a quick pan of everything and you won't be able to see all the bot shots that i've got behind that behemoth of a transformer that sat there i still can't quite believe that rabbit has given that to me but there we go i'll um i'll i'll so yeah thank you very much all right, brilliant. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.